Welcome sa sip9.com uh, In this video ay mag-aaral tayo ng panibagong series ano? Sa video na to ay or sa video series na to ay mag-aaral tayo ng motion problems ano? And uh, pag sinabi natin motion ay dapat natin tandaan yung tatlong terms ano? Importante yung terms yung distance no? Yung rate at saka yung time no? So, yung distance, siguro familiar naman tayo, yun yung, yung layo na tinatravel ng uh, isang object, ano? for example, sasakyan, no? or kung ano mga object na uh, nagtatravel, no? for example, um, uh, if you throw a ball in a baseball, so, yun yung uh, distance, yun yung gano'n sa kalayo, ano? gano'n sa kalayo from the pitcher to the catcher, for example, sa baseball. And of course, yung sasakyan from point A to point B. Ano ba kalayo yung kanyang tinatravel? Ano? So, distance is usually measured uh, through kilometers, no? meters, no? pa miles. Ano? So, itong mga unit, units of measure na ito, ito yung mga karaniwang makikita natin ano? na ginagamit in uh, measuring distance. Second is the rate, no? Ito naman yung tinatawag natin na speed, ano? Okay, so, ito yung speed, no? Sorry. So, sa karinimang lengguahe, no? Kano ba ito kabilis, no? At ang rate or speed ay karinimang, meron yung kilometers per hour, no? No? Sometimes meters per second, and sometimes miles per hour also so so lagi siyang may per no kasi minimeasure mo yung distance kung gaano kalayo over yung time no gaano ba kabilis ang isang cheetah for example tumakbo no yung maximum speed niya so mga 70 i think it's 70 kilometers per hour no so yun yung mga minimeasure ng rate no kung gaano ba siya kabilis and syempre yung time, no? So, nandyan yung hours, no? Tsaka yung seconds. No? Uh, number of hours na tinatravel ng isang aeroplano, for example. From uh, one point to uh, another point. From one place to another place. So, for example, um, uh, three hours, no? Yung tinatravel ng isang aeroplano from... From Philippines to Hong Kong, for example. Or maybe from Philippines to uh, Thailand, for example. Uh, Philippines to Thailand is a bit far, no? So, siguro mga, mga four, four hours, five hours. So, yung, yun yung mga, ito mga ito, ito mga words na ito or terms na ito, ito yung mga dapat nating tandaan, ano, sa pag-solve ng motion problems. Okay, so... Mira tayo na isang example. Okay. So dito, tignan natin kung alin ba yan yung, day, uh, yung distance, yung rate, tsaka yung time. Ano? So a car travels at 70 kilometers per hour. No? So ano ba yung 70 kilometers per hour? No? Speed siya, no? Siya yung rate. So yung 70 kilometers per hour... Siya yung tinatawag natin na rate. Ito yung rate natin. 70 kilometers per hour. Sometimes kph siya, sometimes ito. So pareho naman tama yan. Second is yung 100 140 kilometers. So ano mo itong 140 kilometers ito? Ito yung distance natin, no? So, distance is 140 kilometers. Siguro, kilometers per hour na lang gawin natin dito para consistent tayo. Okay. And, of course, the third one is the 2 hours, no? 
it's a diamond two hours so kung makikita ninyo a car that travels 70 kilometers per hour can travel 140 kilometers in two hours so yung distance natin is the product of the rate and the time no? kung mapapansin ninyo no so yung distance natin 140 kilometers no is equal to kung meron kang dalawang oras no dalawang oras tapos meron kang 70 kilometers per hour so ilang ilan yung des, yung distance na ma-travel mo no times 2 hours no okay so maka-cancel out ito mangyari is 70 no 140 kilometers no? which is of course this one so from uh, from uh, this calculation makikita natin that distance is equal to rate times time no and of course since distance is equal to rate and time kung gusto niyo kunin yung time no you divide both equations by by but what by what no kung gusto niyo kunin yung time we divide both equations I, sorry, both sides of the equation by R. So, magiging uh, D over R is equal to time. No? Well, hindi nyo makailangan tandaan ito. No? Tandaan nyo lang yung pinaka, pinaka formula natin, which is D equals RT. And also, if we want to get the rate, no, so we both uh, divide the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation by by t no so distance or sorry yeah distance over time is equal to rate okay so be careful pag nagsulat kayo no pag nag divide na kayo ibig sabihin ililipat nyo na equal sign kasama siya dun sa Dapat nakatapat siya sa bar. No? Sa fraction bar. Yun yung karaniyong mali ng mga estudyante. No? Pag nag-equal sign sila, nasa taas. So this should be, no? hindi equal. Katapat siya dapat ng fraction bar. Okay, so ito lang yung mga basic concepts na dapat natin daan pag tayo ay mag-solve ng motion problems. No? Sa susunod na video ay mag-start na tayo ng ating uh, uh, pag-solve ano, ng mga actual uh, motion problems. So see you in the next video.